In this video, I'm going to demonstrate ways to add and to remove apps from the dock area in Mac OS X. The dock is a very important area on a Mac computer. This area is where most people will go ahead and add commonly used apps for easy access. I should also note that the dock is also used to show opened apps. For instance, ScreenFlow is currently opened on my Mac and you can see the icon in the dock. However, if I was to go ahead and close this app, the app icon would disappear, which is quite different than Safari or Mail as an example. The reason that Safari and Mail would not disappear if I close the app is because they have been added to my dock. So the question becomes, how do you add an app to the dock? Well, there are a variety of ways. The first one I'm going to show you is by using Finder. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finder in the dock and go ahead and select Applications on the left side of the Finder. And on the right side of Finder, you will find applications on which you currently have on your Mac. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and grab Calculator, which is an app I have installed. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag the Calculator app icon and move it down into the dock area. And as you can see, when I go ahead and hover the app in the dock, the dock starts to make room in order for me to add this app to the dock. I'm going to go ahead and add it in between Launchpad and Safari. I let go and as you can see Calculator is now in my dock. It's important to note that by using this process Calculator is still in the Applications folder. I haven't moved it out of there. All I'm doing is just adding the Calculator app into the dock. And if I just go ahead and click on this app icon, as you can see, Calculator opens up. So now that I've added the app, let's say that I decide down the road that I don't want that app in my dock any longer. So how do I remove it? Well, one way is to click, hold, and drag on the app. And as you can see, as I move the app icon out into the desktop, there's a little image that appears over the app which appears to be a cloud of smoke. When I let the app go at this point, the app disappears from my dock. But again, it's important to note that you're just removing the app from the dock, not from your applications. I'm going to go ahead and close the Finder window to show you another way to add an app into the dock. And this is by using the Launchpad app. If I click on the Launchpad app, you can see all my apps appear. The Launchpad app, in some respects, reminds me of iOS, what you would see on an iPhone or an iPad as an example. And just like before, with the Finder window, if I decide that I want QuickTime Player in my dock, I click, hold, and drag, and just move it into my dock. And as you can see, it's now been added to my dock. Even when I close Launchpad, it is still right there. But again, let's say I decide down the road I don't want QuickTime to be in my dock. If I right click on the app, a list will appear. And one of my options is to remove from the dock. If I go, if I go ahead and click on that, the app disappears. Another way to add an app to the dock is the way that I most commonly use. And what I typically do is I go to Spotlight and I search for the app that I want. So in this case, I t if I type in Keynote, I can see Keynote pops up. I click on it. And as you can see, the Keynote icon appears in the dock. That is because I have Keynote opened up on my Mac. But if I go ahead and right click on the Keynote app icon. Once again, I get a list. And once again, I see options. And this time, if I hover above it and select Keep in Dock, it is now in my dock. So if I go ahead and close or quit Keynote, it's still in my dock. And I can go ahead and click, hold, and drag Keynote to a desired location, such as between the Calendar app and iTunes. Well, there you have it. 
a variety of different ways to add and to remove apps from the dock in Mac OS X.